following their labral repair, uh, the patient will come in generally the next day after surgery and we will see them in physical therapy. The first visit will be about removing the bandages, educating the patient on um, what the post-operative care is going to be all about. The physical therapy goals after labral repair include initially decreased pain to increase passive range of motion. We then move on to increasing an active range of motion, progressing with strength, uh, then moving on to functional uh, return to normal function and functional activities. The initial phase is generally four to six weeks. That depends on um, the nature of the surgery and all labral tears are not the same. Um, it depends on the type of tear and how bad it was and the doctor will give us information on the first visit uh, so that we are aware of how bad the tear is and that will guide us as to how quickly or how slowly we can progress with the rehab. Some of the common exercises in the first phase are passive. They would include things like a pendulum exercise, a table slide, postural re-education exercises such as posterior shoulder rolls. We may use a ball or another device to help you to move your arm without actually using your shoulder muscles to create the motion. We call it active assisted range of motion and that's generally allowed around two weeks. After the patient is allowed to be out of the sling, we work on active range of motion and that would include um, just general activities such as dressing, combing your hair, um, putting dishes away in the cupboard, but the emphasis is on proper mechanics, being able to do it without shoulder compensation, without um, cheating, elevating your shoulders, making sure that the shoulders are in a good posture so that the mechanics are normal so as not to put abnormal stresses on uh, tissues or create inflammation or irritation where it shouldn't be. As the active motion progresses and mechanics are good and the patient is able to do the activities, the lower level activities without pain and with good mechanics, then we would progress to more of a strengthening phase where you would be perhaps lifting some weights or uh, resuming your normal activity. A home exercise program is important through all three phases of the rehab. Initially on the first day you'll be given homework uh, which includes passive range of motion and we generally start based on the patient's ability and what they're able to show us on the first visit um, and then that program will build with each visit um, and generally in the first few weeks it's very similar and as you progress the program becomes a little more difficult. We take the easier exercises away and add more um, advanced exercises uh, based on your progress and what our goals are um, in terms of your recovery. The overall time for the recovery phase and the rehab is anywhere from two months to four months depending on what the um, state of the shoulder was coming into therapy and, and what the desired um, end result will be, whether it be a higher level activity or um, if, it's, if it's, there are not a lot of demands on the shoulder afterwards, it may be less time. It also depends upon how much motion the patient had in the shoulder prior to the surgery and how successful we have been to gain range of motion early on and how long it takes us to, to regain the full amount of motion that we need to be successful. After a labral repair, it's important to let your physical therapist, along with your doctor, guide you through the rehab process. After a labral repair, you won't experience the same pain you had prior to surgery. Having less pain makes you think it's okay to start moving your arm right away, but be careful. The absence of significant pain can trick you into thinking your shoulder is healed, but this is misleading. You may no longer have pain, but it still takes many weeks for the tissues in your shoulder to fully heal. While your labrum heals, your physical therapist passively keeps your shoulder stretched and mobile. You'll gradually be introduced to more complex exercises, helping you regain normal function of your shoulder. These exercises will focus on improving the strength and control of your rotator cuff muscles. They help tighten the ball of the humerus in the glenoid socket, improving the stability of your shoulder. A stronger, more stable shoulder keeps the ball of your humerus centered in your socket during all your activities. At Coordinated Health, we work as a team in your diagnosis and treatment, but you're the key member of that team. Maintaining a stable, pain-free shoulder means working hard to understand and perform the exercises we teach you. Stretching and strengthening your shoulder on a daily basis allows you to better perform all your activities with a pain-free shoulder. 
and that's the art of medicine.